So we're here at TV Sound System live and direct. Man, man, where you yawning, fam? Don't get, don't get tired now, you know, fam. I'm tired from the herb. <laughs> the herb of that Birmingham finest. Big okay, up the cool. Ah, uh, you get the connect. <laughs> yeah, big up the connect, yeah. We're going to fast forward. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time out right about now. There's been so much that we've been talking about. We've got, we, we literally have to talk about 2019. Yeah. What a year it has been for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wally, Let's Wally go Adi's all the way back to the big King Addy's belt. Yeah, yeah. First yeah. winning that belt, how did you feel? That was a good win, man. That was a good quality win. Um, you know, at the time, I was, I had, I had the clash with King Addy's mm -hmm. that I lost, and then I had a clash in Boston, which I won, which was a good, nice little rebound. You know, after a loss. It's good no matter. I don't care if you beat somebody, grandmother with two quinchy and double If you mm -hmm. get a win, it just feel good. Say yeah. a win, so a win. It was a good, it was a decent sound when a Boston better sound, mad sound. Mm -hmm. Um, but we kind of, kind of show the class difference, you know, because they're younger up on the scene. Now. Mm -hmm. Um, but the world, the world clash belt, the the, the, the whole world belt. fight club, yeah, world, that world came, fight club that came world right after fight that. Club. World fight and club, and before yeah. that. Going up against King Addis, yeah. A lot of people was like, "Yo, is this guy crazy? Is he yeah. mad? What What gave you that the vibe and the inspiration to say, you know what? Why not? Why not go up against I mean, one because, of like, the I biggest have, sound systems in the world? Yeah, I wouldn't have took any. I don't. I never take a dance that I don't think I could win. That's mm -hmm. number one. Like I'll never take a dance like. Oh, I know I can't win, but I'm gonna try. No, I'm gonna if I if I if I go and I'll be like for whatever reason I feel like I can't win. I'm not gonna take it. Like, cause you go into a class thinking you're not gonna win. You're not gonna win. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But the, at these dance, I knew that you just gotta. It's all. It's almost like um. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like the Avengers. If you remember the Avengers. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Strange, what was his name? Dr. Strange, right? What's his name? Dr. Strange, I can't remember his name. Yeah. But he had he had the, the time thing and he was able to see a path to winning. It was only one out of mm -hmm. like six billion chances. Well, I have many chances I thought I had. I, I saw a couple. I mm -hmm. saw it like, okay, I could see if this happened and that happened, I could kill at ease in New York. Mm -hmm. If this happened and that happened, I can kill at ease. All I needed was three. I just mm -hmm. had in my mind. I said, if I can think of three ways I can win this dance, I'll take it. And one is naturally always they flop. That's always a possibility. Like, and that's a way, way mm -hmm. for you to win. That's the natural way to you think. Okay, if this sound just flop, and I go, okay, I can win. How how bad was it for you? Because a lot of people says you got wrote off. A lot of people says your and he's just but that running wasn't over you. Um, um, do, uh, coming out of that dance, how much more or less respect did you have for King Addis? No, that never changed. That doesn't change. Like, no, mm -hmm. I, I never go into a dance underestimating or overestimating any sound. So I don't think my respect or more would change. Only way I, I could see it change unless you do something that I didn't think you was capable of. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know, expectations only come to what... Uh, you know what you expect you know it's only how your expectations of somebody is only if you're impressed or not mm -hmm. so what i saw him do i knew that was a possibility so i didn't like so when people when other people was like oh wait, 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 like i'm like yeah that's kingpin like i i know that's how like all right what a lot of people don't know give you insight um me and kingpin used to play on the same platform called pow talk Right, um, mm -hmm. when Lady Lyrical had it, it's called VRA. It's you know the VRA yeah. brand. Yeah, Lady Lyrical had a thing on Power Talk where you go, we all log in and play. I mean, it was selectors from all over the world. And to be honest, a lot of those selectors that was on Power Talk and some of the top selectors right now in the business. Okay. Um, from to me, the kingpin down to even Shatapar from Jugglers mm -hmm. used to be on it from. But this was back when he played Sentinel. Sentinel used to be on there. So, but when Kingpin first got on King IDs, um, me and Kingpin used to clash every day. Cool. Every day. Mm -hmm. For a while. Right on that same platform. 
on Power Talk every day. Mm-hmm. I'm quite sure if if even A1, if they was to be honest, which I don't think they would lie about, I'm quite sure they learned a lot about how they was going to play their, how they was going to play certain songs and defend certain attacks by just me and them sparring it out. We would spar. Like, we would play tune for hours, mm-hmm. always locked down the room. And, like, people would just sit there and listen to it. So while, while, I, while to what I look at, they was learning the box, people in Pow Talk was realizing King Shine is a bad song. Like, that's mm. on that tune. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But that was also playing with at these so much. I realized, you know, there's there's lanes and avenues. If you just catch it the right mm-hmm. way, you can be you can be a lot of these sounds. And then and then fast forward from King Adi's, you you went on to the next class, which was on on a, on a on a more of a higher scale. Because I think for me, I only kind of really to check into King Shine on the real big dances. Then yeah. Adi's was a big dance. Yeah. The next dance after that one was. Um, I had this dance in, I had the dance in Boston, but you probably talking about the Fight Club came um, after that. Yeah, the Fight Club came yeah. after that, yeah. which was you and Platinum Kids. And Platinum Cosmic. Kids, which to get again was one of my favorite clashes for the year. Yeah, um, it was it was a real movie at that time. There again, when you seen when how did you prepare? How how did you know that you could go in there and def- definitely represent what you was doing? Well, that. I, that lineup, as soon as I saw the lineup, I already knew, like, okay, the angle I knew they wanted was, you know, I had butter, butter, and bruise up um, uh, Cosmic in 2016. A lot mm-hmm. of people saw that, and everybody knew, like, okay, that's a nice little, because, you know, something people still been talking about. And then, you know, Platinum Kids been on the scene and, you know, as a juggling sound, but they've been making their noise in the little clashing scene and they actually won the U.S. Rumble that they won. Me yeah. and Cosmic was in it, mm-hmm. which um, a lot of people didn't really, because for whatever reason, when Platinum Kids won their U.S. Rumble, it wasn't about who they killed. It was more about the fact, just the fact that they won because mm-hmm. there was a juggling sound. So I don't, it didn't really matter who did they kill? I don't think people made them more of a big deal of, oh, they killed Jimmy and they killed Cosmic and they yeah. killed... It was more like, yo, that juggling, juggling song, song come on, they do the thing wicked, you know what I mean? Which was um, which was kind of good for everybody else because we didn't get probably the flogging we should have got for mm-hmm. that, you know what I mean? Like well, how normal people would normally attack you. Oh my gosh, you lost to a juggling sound, that's whack. It was more people highlighted the fact that they play good than oh other sounds play bad, which yeah. was like a sort of a a shift. Usually mm-hmm. people go more for the negative, but they actually went for the positive in that situation mm-hmm. with them. So you know that's that was the dynamic of bringing that dance together. So oh, I looked at it. I was like, okay, Platinum Kids, Cosmic, um, three sounds. I don't really need to cut no bugger song. This, who's the baddest MC on here? Me. Who got the deepest kind of dub box? Like, who can play stuff that the others can't? Me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I kind of, I'm kind of, I got the, you know, I got all the reason to think I should win this dance. Yeah. That's how I went into it. Like, I should probably win this, but let's see how it go. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how I, I, I was like, let's see how it go. I should probably win this, but let's see how it go. And um, so that's how I went into that clash, you know what I mean? And, you know, the way they started, the way how the sounds played, um, it's kind of, they played kind of like how I expected them to play. Mm-hmm. So um, the way I the way I expected to attack the dance is exactly what I did. I came out very aggressive. Um, jokes, vibes, you know what I mean? Like attacking them specifically, mm-hmm. um, you know, attacking what, you know, what I consider their weaknesses. Especially with Cosmic and with um, Platinum Kids, I know both of those sounds pretty well. Um, so I kind of figure out what I what I felt is their weaknesses. I just went in, attacked those, um, and that was pretty much it, man. Mm-hmm. And that was pretty much it, yeah. Victorious. And, and it was like I already knew. Like I don't know if you remember the first time with me and Cosmic. Me and Cosmic didn't have tune for tune in our our first clash, mm-hmm. so it was just perfect. I was saying the whole time, if I reach tune for tune, I hope it's Cosmic. Mm-hmm. So I can settle that score. They was talking about oh, Chum Chum. so when it was them, I just and yeah. I just I dealt with them wicked in Chum Chum. <laughs> I don't even think they won a song. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think they won the song. And that made you victorious, that's right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fight Club, you got the belt. Mm-hmm. You're the guy, you know. Like, you got this now. You got the belt, the <laughs> Jimmy Spliff, killing it right about now. Yeah, I, won, I think I won five clashes in a row at the time. Next clash comes up. Yeah. It's the German sound. Or the next big one like that. Yeah. And the next big one. We're going to, we, we have to, you've done so much stuff. We can yeah. go back and forth. We're going to have to go right up until present moment. Yeah, the next big one was, was, was um, the German then. Yeah. How did you feel about going into that dance when you first heard about the lineup? Uh, no different from most other classes. Only thing I knew was, I knew at some point, I said to myself, it's going to happen at some point in this clash where some nostalgia is going to kick in. They're mm. going to get that nostalgia because they've been gone for a while. As a sound mm. where people love and rate. When you've been gone for a while and you come back, yeah. Yeah. at some point you're going to get that, you know, oh, it's them, you know. And um, to me, and it, they benefited from it early. They didn't, like, don't think that I'm saying that, oh, they got it once they started getting their forwards. That's when the nostalgia kicked in. No, that's not what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. The nostalgia saved them early. Because yeah. to the way how they were playing, if that was a normal sound that New York had seen regularly, they would have been getting booed. Mm-hmm. They didn't boo them, which was new. Like You know, New York, they boo you. They didn't boo. But I think that was like more of they was relaxing. Like, okay, they, they about to bust. They about yeah. to bust it now. They about to bust it. Wouldn't, wouldn't that fight club title, did you think that... Um that sound was relevant to play you. Yeah. Because considering it was out of out of the game for a yeah, while. No matter how when you when you when you We haven't heard from Supersonic, it was like yo, yeah, where's you Supersonic remember, been for like they I think were, it was about five year a five year break or something yeah. like that. But remember, Supersonic was kinda crowned by Europeans as the king of Europe. Once you get a title like that, you don't matter, but you can just come back whenever you want. Mm-hmm. And people are gonna be like you got certain European sounds that said it that if they come back, like okay, let's let me say, one love, mm. remember one love from Italy. Yeah. If they decided we're gonna launch back fully, I don't. I feel sorry for the first sound that clashed them. You're gonna have to deal with the nostalgia. Yeah. They've been on so certain little anthems and stuff that they play. It's gonna, but even if they come out and they struggle early, it ain't gonna be like boo. The nostalgia is still there. Mm-hmm. And then it wears off and then the reality kicks in. So it's it's still the same thing. Like you So know. so you went in there with with same sound there. It went in, it went hard. Yeah. It, it was how the, how how did you feel? The Sonic Dance, like once it started, like leading into it, I I felt like I was gonna win. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna probably win this. What so, made you think that? Because Supersonic is a bad sound still. Yeah. To to the next, like they're they're bad still, and I really kind of like think um, when he but, went onto the radio interview with with King Ali's, yeah. and and Supersonic was there. I kind of think you kind of had him up, you know, like no. he he kind of was like <laughs> he, no, he looked kind of like a bit out of touch of what was going on, and no, you really kind of after the talking vibe. to him and all of that. That's just that's kind of who he is. He's mm-hmm. but he's not like he's not as arrogant as it kind of comes off um, if once you get to then you talk to him then you know he must has a reason why he puts up that shield, barrier, yeah, that, that, that barrier. Shield. Mm-hmm. but once once the camera once me and him talk like it was a respect it was a respect there mm-hmm. you know what i mean like he even said something during the interview on the radio that made me really realize it like he said like about uh, talking about the at ease class they yeah. asked him um um at what point did you realize yes. King Shine was King a Shine black was song? And that's and, when, it, yeah, that is a he, key he point. Like, he says only he when like, they played at ease. He said when he played at ease and I watched, he said he first read online. Mm-hmm. Everybody yeah. was like, oh, at ease, wiped him out. And then, and then he said he watched it and was like, okay. oh, no, that's not what happened. Like, mm-hmm. he, at ease, had to draw for the anthem them to really get rid of them. They had to, you know, dig for the big guns. And I was like, and that's that's a fair assessment. I haven't heard too many people give that. I've mm-hmm. heard people privately tell me that, and I'm like, "Why are you telling me privately?" But I see what yeah. you like publicly. You don't 
You know, you just join in on the oh he deadline yeah. instead of we, you know giving yeah, that full opinion. Hundred percent, man. Trust me. Um, shout out, reach out to everybody who's logging in right about now. It's it's King Shine up inside the building. We can go back and forth, but like I said, there's so much to talk about. We're gonna round up the the, the Fight Club situation. Yeah. So unfortunately, you don't have the belt. Yeah. Supersonic have it right now. Yeah, one the one down to the last song in tune for tune, which it shouldn't have. What I, makes I gave it away? What makes Fight Club? so interesting for the people them and what makes you feel like you're glad to be a part of it man listen the way they they push that brand so everywhere every platform they push that brand it's on so many platforms and the um the woman that, that that's that's the the you know the muscle behind it uh christine Every platform you could think of that you would want to be on as a sound man, mm -hmm. she puts it on. Like, I mean, I don't know how much Sonic, I don't know how much they could benefit from it mm -hmm. at right now. Um, but uh, me personally, I benefit, I benefited from it a lot. And I'll be yeah. honest, when I first won it, I didn't think so. But the reality set in that I thought when I realized that it was serious, when they gave me the belt. Like mm -hmm. when they picked up the belt, and I heard Kingpin have to like uh, to lift it, I was like, "Why? Did, why did he, he <laughs> unzipped it?" You realize it was a real belt. Yeah. The same people who make the IBF, WBC, WBA championship mm -hmm. belt makes that that belt. Mm -hmm. It was a real belt. So when I got that belt, and they was like, "Yo," and the case they put it in. It was like, yo, this is yours. You take this home. We're going to need you to take mm -hmm. pictures with it, do this, this. But this is yours, and you just make sure you bring it with you when you clash. From that day, I was like, this is serious. Like, mm -hmm. I think they're going to be really serious with this brand. I think this is a real thing, and it really was. Like, How, mu how, much, really did, was. how much did it hurt you when you lost to know that you had to give up that that belt that you just really totally well, let, let the people them know, now. say, yo, it's a real belt. And you had to give it up. Um, how did you feel? Now, we got to be honest here. I don't know if you remember. I have a belt before that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I always I, I called myself the people's champ from before that. Because, you know, I never won U.S. Rumble, but people thought I, run, I won. So, you know, I was always walking with my own belt. Mm -hmm. So I had my own belt. Actually losing the physical belt itself is not that big of a deal. What's a big of a deal to me is that I was up three to one in the tune for tune with one song to win. Mm-hmm. And I didn't draw the one song to win. I thought I did. I thought I drew the one song to win, which was Gregory Isaac's Hard Drugs, which I've used to win, I think, three other clashes. But like I was explaining, we was having the conversation earlier. Mm -hmm. I kind of felt, after watching it back, I kind of feel like maybe people wanted me to hear me win with a different song. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe they didn't want to let me yeah. win with that song. I had won with that song, like, I think, three clashes. Okay. So, you know. Um, he was begging on the mic for me. He made a couple bonehead mistakes that I that slipped by me. The first thing he did, um, when I think when I went up three one, I played Barry Brown, Far East, mm -hmm. and the forward was so big he, it confused him. He said he got the mic and said anybody could play that, anybody could play that Leroy Smart. He called it a Leroy Smart. Hmm. But I think by then I was in my laptop looking for my next song. Because if I would have heard him say that. <laughs> you missed the opportunity. All I would have came in and said was people. He called that song a Leroy Smart. Like, hmm. fool, that was Barry Brown. Yeah, This is Leroy Smart. And I would have played Leroy Smart. Mm -hmm. And the minute I heard it, it all just laid out to me. I would have played Leroy Smart, The Victory. Because mm -hmm. that song would have been the fourth song to make me win. Okay. So I look at that as an opportunity that I blew it and missed. Mm -hmm. In my mind, that vision, I can see that winning. And also, he was begging for it. He kept saying, you don't have no tune that you put in sound class. You have no tune that you're known for. Which, of course, I have Barrington Levy's Vice Versa Love, which I hadn't played all night. Mm hmm I had not played it. And if I would have drew that song right when he said that. Game over. Cause Fight Club. Because everybody in there knew <laughs> that was a song that I kind of put back in. That, well, there's sounds that had it before mm. me. I'm not going to say I'm the first sound. I'm quite sure there's sounds that had it. 
They ain't sounds that had it like that. Yeah. Or the rhythm, the original rhythm, voice like the for like. And it was a song that I put out there and that my sound was known for, and it, and it completely slipped my brain. Well, I gotta say, a big shout out to the King, King Adi's family. I think Fight Club is yeah, next it's level. It, it is the future. Um, you don't have the belt. Supersonic have it. Yeah. So the next clash that is gonna take place, who would you like to say, okay, then, I got PMI and wanted to go and see. Because you already won that belt. You've already been through the situation. Yeah. Supersonic have to defend it. What sound would you like to see Supersonic defend it with? I don't know. Because they're going to be on par with you, to be honest. Because if it is a lesser sound, it'd be yeah, like... Yeah, well, hmm. I, now that, that, I would say that. It's hard for me to say who at the moment, but I would agree with that. It cannot be a lesser sound yeah. than me. Mm-hmm. That would be weak. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I won the belt against Cosmic and... And Platinum Kids in Brooklyn. That's right. That's Cosmic in their hometown. And Platinum Kids right up the road from where they... I went into New York. Like, that was hostile territory for me. Mm-hmm. F- to bring them back and to have them class somebody, just lame. That'd be lame. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe them in... Maybe a camouflage. You know what I mean? Okay. Maybe uh, Young Hawk. Uh, Young Hawk. Like, somebody... It has to be... Remember, Young Hawk... Beat Supersonic. I don't know if uh-huh. a lot of people know that. Young Hawk beat Supersonic one versus one. And I think 2007. In in Europe. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the king of Europe was beaten in Europe. Well, we've seen you represent the trophy. Yeah. The belt, should we say. Uh, let's and be honest. Seen... Nobody's going to represent the belt like me. You know what? Let's it's just so, it. it's so, gonna... it's so crazy because <laughs> to Nobody's be honest, because I don't, I, I don't said, think, I kind of said the same t- thing. I kind of says this fight club thing kind of fits Jimmy. Yeah. When Supersonic that, won, I thought, okay, right. so what are you going to do with the belt now? Why you think it went the way it went? Like, I was up three to one, bro. Like they boy, like he couldn't manage me in two. But for they two. have the belt, and we can't fight that situation. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like you know it was what I mean? Like, for like me to win, and I fumbled it. Like there's nobody to <laughs> blame. I can't. Bu- and that's the reason why I says who can Supersonic play? And there's a we're gonna few. we're gonna there's, we're gonna we're couple. gonna there's a couple. Yeah, there's a couple. But if I really sit and think, I could think of more. Than there's, a few, there's a few. There's a there is there is a few. Out. But what what I'm gonna have to do is kind of switch it over a little bit, because who we're talking about who could go for it, and <laughs> not from the UK, and I'm from UK fam, <laughs> so I'm gonna represent my thing. So that same belt there that's going on the Fight Club, yeah. Jimmy, you've been inside the place. You've you've really been taking the people them by storm right about now in the UK. You know sound system culture. If there was a sound system. That you would have to say from the UK could go up for that belt for the Fight Club because obviously you New Jersey Supersonic, um, you New Jersey Supersonic from Germany. So what? A UK sound can't win Fight Club. Well, if 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 I'm going to ask anybody, I'm going to ask the Yo. first winner of it. Is there any sound in the UK that you could say? You know what? Then for go for that belt. There, you know. Right now, it's a rough car. Let me tell you why. The UK sounds like it's activity. Like, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm not one of these people that just think sound should get something because of their name. Like, mm-hmm. I work off of, like, I'm, I'm out active. So I'm not going to go and take a sound that's not active and just put him alongside me because they got tuned. And, no, 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 no. I'm active. I'm out there. I'm actually doing it at the moment. So me and you cannot be the same. Mm-hmm. If I'm out active and I'm currently, so you don't see a UK active. No, sound like right I'm, now. I'm, I'm thinking like I, I don't know, like, like it's not. It's like remember you know, in America, brother. There's a lot of one versus ones. Mm-hmm. Sounds go out and prove themselves. Mm-hmm. Like I don't see a lot of. Activity so you don't. Here. So 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 let's we can just break it down and end this part of it. And say that right now, currently, there isn't really a UK sound that could go and represent for the world belt. No, there's sounds that probably could do it. But like for me to, to say what sound would I suggest, mm-hmm. it's hard for me to come up with somebody. Like, because even the sounds that I know are on that caliber, 
I couldn't tell you the last time I seen them in a, in, a, in a, like a, a set clash. Mm -hmm. And it's one thing like to know like okay, this sound juggling alongside this sound and then he pop off and then that's. So there's no UK sound who can do World Fight Club right now. Let's break it down, man. Come on. No, like some no. I'm talking about there's gonna be to one. There's gonna, you, if you can, you, I'm quite sure there's sounds that can do it, but for me to suggest, it'd be hard for me to that. suggest because I'm there's the sounds they're not active. Like I would suggest that I would suggest a immortal and a sound like that. But then what I then if somebody say, okay, Jimmy, when's the last time they clash? Mm -hmm. I would have to say what bad and then okay, cool. two three years ago. Yeah. So it's like using my own criteria how I judge the sound. How would I look at a sound that's been away for two, three times? I'll say uh, they really up for it. So it would be a question to some people. Okay. Whether you think they can do it or not, it would still be a question mark. You know? mm -hmm. Most definitely. Yeah.